If you haven't been up to date on the latest news at La Palma literally today, you might want to stand up for this one. At this hour, new eruption warnings have been issued after over 300 earthquakes take place in a 24 hour time span, and we have not hit those numbers since just before the volcano erupted on September 19th. This has clearly sparked new fears of the tsunami talk, as the video you are watching right now of a simulation of that wave was just released in this article that we're going to break down, and we're also going to take a look at these earthquakes that now seem to have experts believing what we said about two weeks ago, and that's another eruption. I'm going to break down this article, this video, and these earthquakes, and we're going to do it right here, right now. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning, my friends. November 18th, 2021, 1023 AM. And I can already tell it's going to be one of those don't shoot the messenger days. But we have got to talk about the fact that La Palma is showing the most earthquake activity we've seen since the lead up to the original eruption September 19th. Over 300 earthquakes now in 24 hours. And in a nutshell, what that means is we're in a precursor to another eruption. I will be leaving links to this specific article here that was released just a few hours ago, and the information is a bit staggering. Just to give you a little comparison about what's going on compared to what's been going on, I'm going to read this section right here. On Wednesday, the volcanic Canary Island was hit by a staggering 2,300 earthquakes. Previous two weeks had seen the number of earthquakes each day drop below 200. Experts are monitoring the situation carefully to see if it is a one-off spike or if the volcano's activity is changing. Well, we know the answer now, and now this part is key as to what we're seeing seeing today. The last time numbers were seen this high was on September 14th, five days before the eruption where there were more than 300 earthquakes recorded. Now I want you to all keep in mind that with this article they released this video from a 2017 discussion about a mega tsunami coming from La Palma. We all know this has been a study going on for years and years, but they decided to attach this specific video to this article being released this morning. Many people like to assume these days that I'm just creating information when in all reality stuff is being presented to us by the quote unquote professionals. With that said, we need to look at the earthquake activity and right off the bat with our 4.0 status and higher, we are literally wrapping around the mouth of the volcano. If this doesn't say new eruption, I don't know what does. When we click on the 3.0 earthquakes, we can start to see what is going on here. The entire southern half of the island is clearly waking back up, clearly very frequent earthquakes and much stronger. These are now hitting all between 3.0 and 4.5 and now we might have an answer as to why over the last 30 days we've seen all these 5.0 earthquakes so now it's starting to make sense of why i've been covering these strong 5.0 earthquakes leading up to this day which is in comparison to september 14th five days before the eruption where we saw over 300 earthquakes take place in a 24 hour period both of the websites we've been using here for la palma and the data have been up to date on all these earthquakes some of them a little too small to measure but the activity has gone through the roof. My friends, I have no disagreement in the fact that there's some weird stuff and stories coming out of this island since the beginning of it in September between the ripple clouds and the grid quakes and all these crazy stories and theories coming off this island. To have one of the busiest days coming 61 days after the beginning of the eruption is something you just don't see. This island and what it's potentially able to do should not be taken lightly. It should be studied and looked into, but at the same time, the little self-control where it's like being prepared for anything else in life. Better safe than sorry. Have a plan. It's that simple. With that said, my friends, we're going to end this right here. I just wanted to get this information out to you and prepare you for what you're probably going to be seeing all over the internet once again. So don't be surprised. We're going to be hearing the tsunami talk and the collapse of the island talk coming probably for another two months, in my opinion. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope the rest of your day goes well. Shout out to Canada, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button button and don't forget to hit the bell icon click 